Okay, guys, I got to show you this because this, this is super cool. So we got my 1992 brother word processor here, which I featured in a previous video, or I started to make software with it, driving the screen and everything like that. So I have a Telnet application running, which is part of the uh, FabGL library. And uh, what I'm doing is now I'm remoting into a Raspberry Pi that I've configured elsewhere in the house. So this, this guy is actually running on Wi-Fi. Um, and I am linked up to um, a large language model, um, Meta's Llama model right now but what this is actually linked to uh open routers so i'm i can basically connect to any of the models it's just this happens to be a free one i'm not paying for the api so um right now i gotta type on this external keyboard because i haven't configured this application to work with my custom keyboard here but i can ask a question like and what is uh, cloud and then we'll go enter and it's thinking it's not instant but there you go this tells you all about different kinds of clouds clouds play a crucial role in the earth's climate system and there you go we have got this old word processor uh, acting as an AI chat device. This is just one of the many applications of things that I want to play with and stuff, but this is pretty sweet. You see right here, the ESP32 that it's running on. Yeah, so the one thing that you might have noticed as I was typing in, it wasn't actually typing here. So I think I have to go on the Raspberry Pi side and uh, echo back the characters that I type so that I can see what I'm typing out like that. Um, so I'm going to do some little tweaks like that. I also want to change like the font to match the system font that I originally captured. But uh, yeah, still pretty, pretty awesome. And I'm pretty, pretty happy about it.